Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about all things adulting. This video will be slightly different than the other videos that I've made because in this video, I'm going to share a few useful tips that has helped me pass my ACTA professional papers at the first sitting. So before we dive into it, let me just share a little bit of my background with you. I'm actually an accounting graduate and I'm currently working in one of the big four firms. As you all know, there are 13 papers in ACCA and because of the degree that I hold, I'm able to get exemptions and that would mean that I only need to take four papers. The first two is the compulsory paper which is the strategic business reporting, strategic business leadership and lastly are the two optional papers. The first, it is advanced taxation and advanced audit and assurance. So the intention of this video is not to brag about my achievements of oh, passing ACCA in the first sitting, but it is actually, I understand that ACCA or professional papers is definitely something very difficult and stressful. So I just want to share a few useful tips that has really helped me in my ACCA journey so that it can also help you. So let's go right into it. All information given is for general information and entertainment purposes only and does not constitute professional financial advice. All contents are unbiased unless mentioned otherwise. I'm going to bring you through how I personally study for my papers from three months before the day of exam up to the day of the exam itself. I had the privilege to study for my exams full time so I take my exams on a quarterly basis and the schedule is pretty hectic too as there is a lot to cover within the 3 months time frame. Example, after completing the September exam, at the beginning of the month, you would have to start prepping for the December exam which is around 3 months. So, the first tip is consistency. Why is consistency important? Because regardless of if you are studying full-time like I did or if you are taking your ACCA part-time, because of the dense ACCA syllabus, without consistency, it is really very difficult to maintain the momentum up to the exam date. There are a few things that I would do on a weekly basis to ensure that I stay consistent. The first thing is to do my ACCA practice questions topically. And you can find these questions from Kaplan, BPP, so that you can start learning to apply what you have learned and to see what kind of questions that will be asked to give you a mental preparation. Another weekly thing I would do is to make notes for the topics covered for that week to ensure that I had the full understanding of the topic. And when I say make notes, I don't mean rewriting your notes that is on your textbook. I mean making summarized notes in a way that you understand and can visualize better. I used to do handwritten notes as you can see here, but I gradually transitioned to digitalizing my notes because I wanted to practice my typing speed. Because ACC exam from now onwards is completely computer based. So I need to start to speed up my typing speed with minimal error because time is of the essence. Remember the purpose of making this note is so that you can revise your syllabus just by reading your own summarized notes. The last thing you want to do is a week before exam is to pull up your textbook and start revising from there. Making notes for every topic may seem tedious but you won't regret it when you are nearing your exams. Anxiety is the last thing you want to feel before sitting for an exam so you would want to make your life near exam easier and less stressful. So what I would do one week before my real ACCA exam is that I would revise only my notes to recall the keywords and the technical stuff. So the second tip is to do your mock exam. Usually one month before sitting for the ACCA exam, generally your tuition provider would have completed the syllabus. So one month before my ACCA exam, I would start doing the past year paper that I can find on the ACCA official website. And here it is right. I would complete these papers in a full exam condition, meaning it is timed and done on my computer to simulate the computer-based exam setting. The last thing you want is to do your real ACCA exam on the computer for your first time. Remember, time is of the essence. So I would do them all in an exam environment without referring to my notes or without reading to the questions beforehand because you need to get used to reading the questions for the first time so that you can gauge your speed. 
And after completing them, you would want to compare them with the model answers and think about how you can improve your answers better and make notes on it. You can attempt to be in the shoes of the examiner and try to write better, whether it is the way that you phrase your sentences or improving the structure or including keywords so that you'll be able to score higher marks. Tip number three is time management. As I mentioned multiple times before, time is of the essence. So when you're nervous, time will fly by really quick and you find yourself reading a paragraph again and again and again because your brain isn't processing and before you know it, time is running out. So this is an important tip that I would strongly recommend any ACCA candidates to follow. It is to bring a noiseless stop. Watch and this is the only stopwatch that, uh, only digital stopwatch that I own, and it doesn't look that great, but it does the work. So I will look at the marks or location of every single sub questions, multiply by 1.8 to determine how much time I can spend on each sub question. So you may be wondering why multiply by 1.8? Well, for most ACCA strategic papers, the duration is usually three hours, so that's 180 minutes for 100 marks. So for every mark, you can spend 1.8 minutes. If your exam duration is not 3 hours, you can recalculate using the same method. For example, for a 10 marks question, ideally, you should spend 18 minutes doing it. After 18 minutes is up, move on. Now, this may sound tedious, but it really keeps me calm during my exam as I know I won't be running out of time as long as I stay within my time limit for each sub question. The last thing you want to do is to spend one hour on an 8 marks question and spend 30 minutes on a 3 marks question. So I would use my stopwatch even for the mock exams that I'm doing a month before ACC exam and during my real ACC exam so that I can get familiar with the system of looking at the mark allocation, allocating time for each sub question starting my stopwatch, writing, ending my stopwatch, and repeat. And using this method, I have not found myself lacking of time during any of my ACC exams. So you can consider trying this out. The fourth tip is to utilize the technical articles that you can find on the ACC website. With ACC strategic professional papers, there are several technical articles related to your paper that you can find on their official website. And these articles are usually written by the ACC examining team. It sometimes offers another perspective of the topic, helps to improve your understanding, provides a real-life perspective that I would always, always make sure that I will read them all before exam. So you may be wondering, Jamie, how do you find time to read them? Well, for me, I read them one month before the real ACCA exam when I'm attending the mock exams because I feel that it helps you to give a full picture of how a few topics are interrelated. I find that by doing this, I can understand and write better. So, to summarize, the first tip, consistency which is to do your ACCA topical questions on a weekly basis as well as to make a summarized note. Second, it is to do your mock exam a month before exam in a whole exam environment. Number three, it is time management. So bring your stopwatch and utilize it during your mock exam or your real exam. And lastly, it is utilizing the technical articles that you can find on the ACCA official website. So these tips are close to my heart as I found this to be a huge contributor to it, helping me to pass my ACCA exams at my first sitting. Consistency and time is key for ACCA and any other professional papers that you are sitting for. And I hope that you found at least one tip to help you to study more effectively and efficiently. If you are an ACCA candidate or any professional paper candidate, I wish you all the best in your journey. That's all for this video. Bye!